Uh, we personalize education at Personal Improvement Institute. That's what teachers tell us they like the most about our classes. I would reform schools, if I said one thing, it would be about making it so that the, that the education is as personal and individual as possible between the student and the teacher. I would focus heavily on reading at the very, very early level so that the students have the capability of learning other things. If you can't read, you can't learn science. So many teachers tell me ch children just can't read in their 11th grade. And if you can't read in our society, especially in our schools, you, you pretty well can't function. And, and I would also, early on in a child's education, I would, I would really focus heavily on, on getting children to learn that they are responsible for their behavior. I, I would teach responsibility. I would teach things like restraint or, or, or behavioral control to children. And, and teach children some, some simple concepts about how to get along with other children. Teachers, I think, would like to teach some of these things and, and like to focus more on the reading and the responsibility and the behavior of the children. But um, from the, probably the state level, from the outside world, school improvement is not, is, there's not a value placed on that. The value is placed on more on math scores, science scores, standards and uh, outcomes. The, the school improvement thrust is based on more on outcomes than it is on the simple what you need to get those outcomes. Uh, and if we're going to improve schools, I think we have to work on helping people like the state legislature and, and business people understand that if you, if you want to improve your test scores, you have to take a look at the learning process in the classroom. That raising standards and then holding people to them is not going to improve test scores. If you want students to learn better, you have to focus on the learning process and the growth process, and then they will grow in math. They will grow in science. It's, it, it's, that, it's almost that simple to me. And, and again, I can back this with research that shows that the best way to get a child to learn is to form a good relationship with a child. If we focus on the learning process and, and we make that a wholesome activity that's, that that's valued, then, then the students will learn whatever topic it is. Whatever topic it is, the students will learn it to the best of their ability. It's, um, it's like if you're, if you're coaching a basketball game, it's like focusing on the scoreboard. If, if you focus on the scoreboard, you're not likely to focus on shooting the basketball. And so, and so if I were a coach, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't pay attention to the score in a timeout, I would pay attention to what my, my basketball players have to do to get the best score. In education, I wouldn't be focusing on the test score. I'd be focusing on what is it in the classroom that I have to do to get the best test score for my students.